Hey all, welcome to my channel Higher Ready. Are you searching for 100% industry relevant AI course? Make sure that you subscribe my channel Higher Ready. Because in this channel, I am going to post a full AI data science and machine learning course that is completely industry relevant. If you go to YouTube, if you go to Google and search for top trending careers in 2026, you will definitely be seeing AI engineers, ML engineers and data scientists as the top three careers. There is nothing magical in this because there is a strong man for this careers. Let me explain how and why. Before getting into that part, let me introduce myself. This is Banisha and for the past two years, I am working as a freelancing AI, data science and machine learning trainer. I work with many IT training centers and colleges. So I have seen various syllabus followed by various IT training centers and different colleges. So after analyzing every syllabus, I found this is the app syllabus that is necessary for industry. Based on that, I carefully crafted this AI data science and machine learning syllabus for our YouTube channel Higher Ready. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, let me tell you what about this channel. This is completely an AI based channel in which I'll be posting videos about artificial intelligence, data science and machine learning concepts. So let's try to understand what is AI, machine learning and data science in our first day of this course. What is artificial intelligence? If you go to Google and search, will be seeing that first definition as AI is a technology that mimics human brain. No, that is not the truth. If someone tells you AI is a technology that mimics human brain, I'll tell you that is a hundred percentage myth. Let me explain how. And what is AI? So there is a reason why this myth got created. Let me explain the reason why. In AI, machine learning is a subdomain. In machine learning, deep learning is a subdomain. In deep learning, neural network is a subdomain. And neural network, neuron is one of the component. And neuron is something that they created with a goal of imitating human brain. But in reality, that is just a mathematical function. It is not how a real brain works. So if someone tells you that AI is a technology that imitates human brain, tell them that is a myth and tell them this is the reason why it is a myth. But what is AI? What is artificial intelligence? It is a technology generally used for automating a task and that intelligence we are going to every different missions in a different way. If I want to automate a particular task using my laptop, I need to teach that in a different way. But for my brain, if I'm learning physics, if I'm learning maths, if I'm learning science, I'll just see the formulas and I'll understand everything in a similar way. But our computers, our mobile phones do not have that ability. Still now, till now, AI is not working like a human brain. You can ask me, we do have so many advancements in AI. ChatGPT can give so many answers and it can give better answers, sometimes better than my teacher, sometimes better than my professors. How? How it is happening? It might be smarter than human beings. Sometimes it might give answers better than human beings. But the brain that ChatGPT have is not similar to how our brain is there in our head. It is completely a different structure. So for training a human being with certain task, we just need a minimal amount of time and minimal amount of data. For example, if I want to teach a four-year-old kid, which is dog and cat, I just want to teach him or her with just four different cats and four different dogs. But for mission, if I want my AI model to understand which is a dog and which is a cat, I want to teach that model with minimum of 1000 images and with that 1000 different images it commonly understand 
which is the common pattern that is found in every single image. So, in AI, the major component is data. So, AI is a technology used for automating a task. So, what is data science and what is machine learning then? If AI is a technology used for automating a task, what is data science and what is ML? To understand all these three technologies, let me give you one example that makes it very clear about all these three technologies. Let's take a one common example. We are using so many e-commerce platforms like Amazon, Flipkart or Misho. So, let's consider Amazon here. If you are going to Amazon or searching for a particular product, maybe a black t-shirt. If you are searching for a black t-shirt for now, if you go back to Amazon tomorrow, you will see suggestions of similar dresses. Maybe the t-shirts or the same black t-shirts. How it is happening? That is where all these three technologies are applied. So, data science is a technology used for finding a useful information for business from the historical data. Generally, that is the goal. Apart from them, we do have so many applications in data science, but that is the major goal of data science. So, finding insight, that is the goal of data science. Then what is ML? ML is used in both AI and both data science. So, it says machine learning is used for finding an insight and also for automating a task. But generally, what is machine learning? It is a step-by-step -step process which can be used for finding an insight to and also for automating a task. So, in this case study that we took, Amazon. So, machine learning is applied in both AI and ML. But how? How it is being applied? In this case study we took, Amazon is the case study we took, right? So, in this, data science is used for understanding a customer. Let me explain it clearly. The first thing that you did after installing Amazon application is, you are giving your personal detail. It might be a contact number or email ID for sending an OTP. So, you will be receiving an OTP, followed by that you will be logging into that particular platform, right? So, they have collected your data that will be used as unique ID for their purpose. Here, with that unique ID, if you search for something, it will get noticed. So, based on your interest, that is how you are seeing recommendations. And the people who are living in the same location, if you are living in India, if you are living in America, if you are living in Canada. So, based on that location, if people are searching for similar products, those products will also fall under your suggestion and recommended products. So, this is how data science is being used here. So, it's used for understanding customer. So, data science is used for understanding customer and in the same case study of Amazon, AI is used for after understanding what you want, they are suggesting products, right? So, based on what you search, not a single person is sitting there and looking at your data and oh, this person is searching for this. So, let's suggest this product. Nothing is happening like that. Instead, that was automated. For that, we do have an ML algorithm called recommendation systems. So, here AI is used for recommending products. So, in recommending products, we use a specific ML algorithm called recommendation systems. And in data science, we use ML for understanding a customer. So, for understanding a customer, we have a specific ML algorithm called clustering algorithms. So, here we use clustering. 
So now in both ML is being applied. That is how these three dots are getting connected. There is a valid reason why sometimes data scientists are getting high paid than software developers. Do you know why? The success rate of every data science project is really very less compared to software development project. It is definitely a 100% risk. Sometimes the decisions that you make after you apply machine learning algorithms might not work. But you should accept it and you should learn from it instead of worrying about it. So the risk is the reason for the salary. If you are getting high paid in this job of data science because it is a highly risked job. So this is how these three technologies work. And the reason why these three technologies are having high demand is because every business is growing because of this technologies, these technologies. So, the valid reason for the demand of these technologies is business growth. If you understand how these three technologies work, you can even start a business. You can do anything. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I believe you understood the key differences between AI, machine learning and data science. Bye for now.